Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we're going to be setting up a database management um, tool um, that we can use in the browser. It's actually called uh, Cloud Beaver, which I'm pretty sure is probably like forked off of like DB Beaver, but put into a browser thing. I've actually used DB Beaver a lot in my database management, very small career of doing cyber defense competitions and needing to log into a database and doing some database configurations. Just very little, you know, just editing things in the database directly. Like you would never want to do that in production, but it was a cyber defense competition. So you could do whatever you really wanted to, honestly. Um, but it is a very very nice tool to actually use so that you can actually connect to the database, look at tables, configure and create tables, or just see what's in the table. If someone put something malicious and you didn't do any SQL, um, to, uh, SQL validation and stuff like that. So um, it's a fun tool. So we'll, we'll show you how to create the server and how you can use it in the browser. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy the content, want to sponsor me, or send me some free swag or hardware, my email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started, guys. Okay, so we will log in to our server. 192.168 and um, one thirty. The first thing we will do here is actually install Docker. So this is just another Docker container that you can use to um, just run and add, um, download the Docker container and run it. So we will install Docker CE. While we do that, we will I will also edit our DNS to include this. Um, so we're going to go actually backwards in our DNS because I have other things after 150. So we're just going to go backwards here. I like to do it in an order. This doesn't need to necessarily be in order. You can you can do it in what order you want it in. But in this case, I like the the num IP schemes to be in order because it makes it the most sense when you look at it honestly. Um, so we call it Cloud Beaver, Beaver, in a and 130. Uh, we updated this already, so add Cloud Beaver. Commit. Okay, so now that's going. So we'll look up Cloud Beaver while while we're at it. Um, and yeah, so so essentially it's by D D Beaver. Um, I've actually used this. They have a community edition of it. Um, it's a very nice tool. Hundred percent would recommend, especially if you don't really do much database stuff and you just need to like log into a database but want a GUI for it. Um, D Beaver is a very nice tool. Um, I've, I've I've used it for a lot of things actually, um, and, and it supports multiple different types of databases like MySQL, Postgres. So it's not like specific to like you know like PG Admin is very specific to Postgres servers. Um, this one this one isn't. So, but essentially, it, when you set up the server, you get a GUI interface, and you it just can log into a server, run your SQL commands, select statements, insert, do whatever you need to do. So we'll take a look at the official Docker repository because this is what we're going to actually do. So, I mean, they updated 11 days ago, so it seems pretty, you know, they, they updated pretty frequently. They got 10 million polls. Um, so what, we, what we'll do is go through the how to install um, looking at it, essentially, we'll probably just run this command and, and we'll, we'll do something similar to this um, because we we'll want to run it in the background and everything, but um, we'll essentially run that command. So systemctl enable docker and systemctl start docker. So now that that's started, um, we'll copy and paste that run command. So it will pull the container down, run it, run it, run it. Um, the few things to note here is it, so so the the container actually runs on eight nine seven eight, but we're gonna run it. We're gonna just hit it from our server on eighty eighty essentially. So that's one thing to know. Um, also, the the volume var cloud beaver workspace will also be you know if I go to var cloud beaver workspace, this is where all the local stuff is. So the configuration, everything that you would need would be in here. So um, from the Docker container. So what we'll do now is go to HTTP D Beaver, uh, Cloud Beaver, sorry, that's what I named it, dragon.local and port 8080. Um, it'll go through kind of a, a setup thing. So you would hit next. There's a lot of configurations you can click. We will leave everything um, default, but the one thing to know here is if you're like doing this like publicly or you're you're extending this to multiple things, you probably want authentication behind it. So you don't allow anonymous access, you can turn that off. 
And then also down here, there's admin credentials to, to set up your admin user. So notice that it says CB admin, not just admin. So we'll, we'll create those credentials. Um, I, but you can change any of this that you want. I'm just going to leave it as default. So I'll hit next and then I'll hit finish. So from here, I can log in as C B admin <laughs> and log in with the password. And there you go. Um, I unfortunately don't have just a random database to access, but we can go to connection management, add a connection. As you can see, Maria DBs, MySQL DBs, Oracle, Postgres, SQL Server for Microsoft SQL Server and other ones. It's pretty much simple to like how, how you do any of your other configure like configuration to get into a database. You would click the one that you want, you set the host name. This is the default port that was it, it would use. If you use something other than the default port, you can change it. What the database schema is, the username and password to log into that schema. And then you can test and create connection. And then from there you can do any SQL tuning or uh, SQL commands um, after that. So you can actually do um, just normal SQL stuff. Um, for example, and I can't show you here because whatnot, but if I were to log out and if there was an actual connection, I can actually open like a SQL page and you can write like, you know, select the blank from, you know, some table, right? And you can actually write SQL queries to query against the database that you connect to. So um, the other fun thing here, here is, um, obviously they, they know this stuff. There is a doc theme mode, guys. There is a doc theme mode. So this, this is a, an approved, approved solution because there's a doc theme though. If there's no doc theme mode, then it's not an approved solution. I'm, I'm out, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, but you can also use the doc theme. So, um, that's pretty much it. This is what you can set up, connect to your database with this and do the database things that you need. So if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.